back. Today we're going to learn about how to draw a fox and also to be inspired by a famous artist named Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh is mostly known for his beautiful brush strokes, the way he uses his color, and one of his most famous paintings, Starry Night. So we're going to start out doing our background and what we need first is some color pencils or you could do these with watercolors or paints if you have it. So we're going to start off doing a nice blue background. So the best way to hold your pencil is you don't want to go straight up and down because then you'll get little thin scratchy lines. So we're going to take our pencil and hold it sideways and start shading going back and forth. And we're going to shade this whole entire background nice and blue. So after we shade the whole thing nice and blue, we're going to start drawing our fox next, and then we'll go ahead and do the swirls in the sky inspired by Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. So I'm going to finish shading the background with my blue pencil. So you'll notice in my paper when I was going back and forth, I'm trying to stay in the same direction, but sometimes I had to go in other directions so I didn't see too much white paper. I'm also drawing on a texture surface. I know there's some bumps in, in the background, but that's actually perfect because one thing about Vincent Van Gogh is he likes to paint with nice big brush strokes. So you can see it almost like it was popping off the paper, felt alive. So it's okay if you got those. All right, so after we did that, we're going to go ahead and start drawing our little box. So He's going to kind of be the, the focal point of, of our piece. So we want him about the size of our hand. So if I put my hand down like this, this is how big I want my little fox. So go ahead and put your hand down and lightly draw the top of your fingertips. Do a little pencil line so we know kind of where the top of the head's going to be. Right? So again, just put your hand here down at the bottom like this. Um, yours might be a little shorter if your hands are bigger or smaller. All right. So first step is we're going to draw a lemon shape. So we're going to come up like this over lemon or football type shape it doesn't have to be perfect all right from here we're going to go to the corners this is kind of the cheek here and down so we're going to go in here and draw a little nose it's be circular or kind of triangular shape kind of rounding it and filling it in with my pencil then from there i'm going to go ahead and draw some eyes here one So again, it doesn't have to be exact, but you want it kind of over this cheek here. This is going to be one color later, and this one's going to be a different color. So hopefully so far, you got your eyes. Got a little kind of triangular nose with the rounded edges, upside down triangle. All right, now we're going to go ahead and draw the ears. So we're going to go up like this and down for one. Up like this and down for another. And I like to put a little half shape in there like that and half shape in there like that. That's the inside of the ears, and they're going to be a separate color. All right, so the next part, we're going to go down to the body. Now, this next little part um, is going to be kind of like the hair that goes underneath the neck, and it's almost like you're drawing the bottom of a heart shape, and you want that to come down so almost it's like halfway in between the bottom here and here. So I'm going to start around here and kind of curve like I'm doing the point of a heart. Come around here and curve like I'm doing the point of a heart. The next step is we'll draw the feet. So make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom. So we kind of do straight line and curve out a little and round and straight up back up for one leg. Then we're going to come straight down, curve it, come back up for another leg. All right. So it's almost like two L's, two L's, and then a curved little bottom coming right up there. Feel free to pause at any time if you need to stop to, can, to catch up. All right. So the next part is we're going to draw the body. So we're going to come here and kind of round it like this. Stop here, pick up my pencil, put it back down here, continue through here. Stop here, pick up my pencil, continue, and go on up. So now you have a nice little rounded bottom. After the rounded bottom, we're going to go ahead and draw our little tail here. So we're going to come up, kind of point out, and down. This can be a different shape. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. So this is the tail, and then we're going to just draw a little on the end, like a little hair on the end for the tip of the tail. And some might be skinnier, some might be taller, wider, thinner, it's all different kinds, it's okay. All right, so after you do this, we're going to go ahead and um, do our, our little treat on the side here. So 
So we're going to pretend like there's little trees. And Starry Night, they have this kind of um, black shape that almost looks like, well, it looks like a building or a tree. We're not quite sure exactly what it is. So it's going to go up the side here. So we're going to start here next to his tail, go up, pick this up, put this down, and kind of come up. And we're just going to kind of wind up that way. So notice it's just kind of going like this. We're then going to come in here, do one curve, two, and let's do another one like this. So it's almost like a spiraling up. And again, if you look at Mr. Van Gogh's piece, I'll point out right now what point that we're trying to do. Okay, and then we're going to color that in shortly. All right, so the next step is let's go ahead and do um, our swirls in the background because just in case we go into the fox, we can color over it later. But we're going to try to avoid going in the fox. So we're going to do the swirls in the background. So we're going to start with the color yellow or light color if you have it and start pushing hard and just doing different little, we're spiraling in circles. So I'm starting with my yellow. I'm spiraling. I'm just doing a circle kind of. But you can do it in any different directions if you like. Now we're not drawing exactly the same as Starry Night. We're kind of doing it a little bit different with circular motion, but it's still very similar. And if you want, if you don't want to go in full circles, you can also go in lines if you like. Dotted lines. You can make them thicker, you can make them thinner. That's completely up to you. I'm going around each one that I already made, and I'm doing these little flashy, dotty lines. And I'm going kind of quick, so it's okay. Um, so again, you can spiral them, circle them, or do something like that. That's totally up to you, your preference on what, how you want it to look, your finished outcome. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do... I might get two shades of blue if I have them, or you could use a purple and a blue. Um, if I had a purple, I'd probably do a blue and then a purple. You could even use a green and a blue, but I kind of want to get it almost like they're connected. So I'm going to do some more colors so they start connecting. So I'm going to use this light color blue, and I'm going to do these kind of dotted lines. Now remember, I'm trying not to go into the fox, so I'm leaving the fox. And I'm trying not to go over here either. So we're just doing these dotty, flashy lines and circles, kind of going around. This. Okay, and now I'm going to do some dotted splash lines and to do it like that too. All right, and now my next step is I'm going to go ahead and do my darker blue. And now you can see they're starting to like meet up, which is good. That's what we wanted. We want to get that beautiful kind of background sky going in here, kind of fine tuning it. Now I've got this beautiful starry night sky. All right, now my next step is, is we're going to color in the fox, we're going to color in this background, and then we'll be done. All right, so for the fox himself, I try to use just two colors. I know I've taught you guys before, you can do it really lightly, push a little harder, and then even harder, and almost get three different colors. So I'm going to start by coloring it. I want to use this light color peach, and you can use whatever you like. And if you have some blue showing through, maybe you want to do a darker color. But the cool part that the blue is showing through, it's going to make it look almost like this sun is kind of glowing and going on the animal. All right, so we're going to go in and make sure we color all these parts. I'm going to push, I'm pushing a little bit harder, so only a little bit of the blue is showing through, so it looks like a reflection. I'm also coming in the ears here. And I'm going to actually go in on this guy too. You can always do this one a different color because it is kind of hair. So I'm not pushing as hard. I'm doing this one lighter and this one I'm pushing hard. So that almost looks like two separate colors. It doesn't look like the same color. So I'm only lightly going in on this one here. And the mouth I'm pushing harder so it looks like it's a different color than this. Um, for the tip of the tail, I might go in very, very lightly with this peach color. And for the rest of the parts, I'm going to be coloring in with red. But I'm going to try to do different shading techniques. So watch here. I always like to, again, put my hand and put my pencil sideways so it gets a nice good shade and you don't have any of the white in the background. Um, whenever I get to the edges 
around the head, I like to push a little bit harder. So what that does is it makes it look a little more three-dimensional and makes it pop up. It's a little more realistic. Um, when I'm finished, I'm going to try to either go over these pencil lines with a dark uh, pencil, or I could use a Sharpie marker and outline these lines, or I could just leave them with pencil, but I think I want them to pop a little more, so I'll probably use a black pencil to go over all the pencil lines that I did before with the eye and the nose and, and shading around the outside. All right, so at this point in time, I'm going to be lightly shading this. I'm going to do it first all the same color, and then I'm going to go back and add highlights. So go ahead and shade in all these different parts with this pencil here, 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 here. And then I'll push harder to get the pop out part. All right, so this next step, you can see all the colors are one color. And you want to make like the legs pop out. Um, so in order to do that, we take our color here, and now I'm going to push a little bit harder around the edges here. This helps give it a little more three dimensional form. I'm going to come in here, push a little harder. And you can just stop right here. Or you can go even further and kind of do a medium push and bring in a little more. Another um, fun thing that you can do is sometimes you can go in with a lighter color if you'd like. White is normally preference. And if you go like this with the white, or if this is like an off-white color, you can see it kind of helps blend all the colors together. It's almost like a blending tool. So if you have a white, or even this off-white kind of looks pretty, it's giving it some highlights. So notice how that leg all of a sudden just pops out more. All right, so I'm going to come in here. I'll just kind of go like this, and sorry, the sun is coming in, so I noticed there's some shadow, but hopefully you guys can still see. All right, so we're going around, going around, doing that, and then I'm doing it a little bit, and then I'm going to come in with this, like, my white or my off-white or whatever color you have that's a lighter color, and just let me help it kind of blend in together, and you can just see how that light really pops out. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it to the side of the tail here. I'm going to do it around the body. And I'll do it here. So I'll kind of try to do that quick. So I'm going to come in here, right around the tail, pushing a little darker, maybe a little bit around here, kind of pop that up. Going around the tail here, kind of going down here, pops it up a little more. And then I'm going kind of lighter, kind of lighter. Then I'm going to go around the side here, maybe bring it in a little lighter. And feel free to pause at any point in time. Okay, I'll come in here. It up a little more around my ear, around my ear. Coming in a little lighter, so now I do a little bit of a medium push because I noticed that I needed a little bit more. I'm trying to get three different shades if I can, and then I'm going to take my blending pencil, my white, or my off right. That it kind of helps it blend a little bit. Again, you don't have to do this best, but if you find you like it, and it might enhance yours. I, I kind of like it because since I'm using this like yellow off white color and orange, they're next to each other on the color wheel, it's blending really well and it kind of gives it more vibrance and it makes it almost look like it's the fur of the animal. So I kind of like this. All right, so my box is done. My next step is, is I feel like I want him to pop out, so I don't actually have a black right now, so I'm just using a dark brown. We use what we got, right? You can either use Sharpie markers, you can use color pencils, whatever you like. We're going to come in here and just kind of fine tune this to enhance our little guy. Over all these lines. Just in the box right now and then after the box we'll do the trace so go ahead and trace out all your lines best you can it's okay to make mistakes we all do sometimes I don't go over my lines I can still see the pencil but it's okay Done. all right so the last step is we're going to go to the tree after I finish this last little line. Now, I'm not really certain in Mr. Van Gogh's painting. If it's a tree, if it's a house, I don't really know. It's up to interpretation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on this outline like this. So on these lines, we draw with my dark pencil, black, 
dark brown again i would have probably used black but i don't have it right now then i'm going to shade in with this color shade in with this color in fact we can do the whole thing with this color shade it in a nice light color i'm doing it light i'm barely pushing barely pushing right now okay shading it shading it barely pushing Barely pushing. And then, hey, I could just keep it like that. And, you know, the one thing that's nice about the tree, it gives it a good contrast, so it makes him pop out more. And if you want to go in and color some more here, the more color you bring, it might actually, if you darken behind, it might actually pop this guy out a little bit more. So if you wanted to come in here and just kind of add some more color, so I missed it here, or maybe make the strips a little bit bigger. See how that kind of pops them out. So maybe if I want to put that here. It's a little bit bigger I could. Um, or maybe you just want to leave it how it is. You can always go back and change your try stuff, or maybe just try it for a little and decide, ah, that doesn't really work. And you know, you're the artist, so you can decide what you want to do. So sometimes you can follow along, or sometimes you can just do something different. Whatever you decide is best works for your art, because you're the artist. So I'm just kind of popping this up a little bit more, just trying to add some colors. And just kind of pop. And then if you want to, you can come in here and kind of push a little bit harder to get that kind of in-depth. Um, you can also just take, if you have a lighter brown, or if you have like a yellow color, you can come in here. But maybe yellow might be nice in this. Um, it's just supposed to be either a tree, or we're not sure, something that's in the shadows. So however you like it is good. So I think I'm happy with this. And... I think I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you do, please like my video and I uh, hope you subscribe to my channel and I hope I see you again soon. Have a great day. Thanks.